Hi. So, hopefully you guys did your action step in the last video. I'll have it linked above, I think. <laughs> so in today's video, we are going to learn my inking process on how to make a webtoon. And again, this is, you don't have to do this. This is just what I do. In my book, there's no, there's no right or wrong way. As long as you're not hurting yourself and you're happy and you're not hurting other people. But anyways, it's gray and gloomy outside and I am tired. So let's move on to inking in a webtoon and clip studio paint. If you're wondering, hey, what about Metabonk, Ibis, and all the others? We will cover that in the next series. For now, we are working on getting through this series. <laughs> but we shall cover it in the next series. But yeah, okay, let's jump into this. This is my webtoon, Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. This is, well, let me just scroll out, scroll, zoom out. <laughs> this is my webtoon, Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. It has over like half a million views on webtoon Canva right now. And I also turned it into a book, but I don't know, the book is someplace, someplace in my office. I'm using Clip Studio Paint and this is my, the tablet that I'm drawing on is my Wacom display tablet. It's the 24 inch HD one. I've had her for over like a decade. <laughs> so she's, she's an old bean. But anyways, if you're having difficulty in achieving like clean and precise lines, if that's what you want to do, or just like, if you're trying to like achieve lines that I have, not that you have to achieve these lines, but if you are looking at my web and you're like, I want these lines. Let me show you my technique. It's not even a technique, but let me just show you like my settings and the brush I use and hopefully that will help you and then your action step because I almost forgot your action step is going to be that you will test out the brush and settings and see if you like it or if you're like meh I don't like it so let's go so in Clip Studio Paint X the brush that I use for inking is literally the G pen right here focus it's the G pen. It's the default pen that comes with Clip Studio Paint. I literally use that. And then my settings, they're li literally the D. I keep them the same. The only thing I change is just the brush size because I'm heavy handed when I draw and I don't want to press down on my screen to where it starts to leave a divot. So the bigger the brush size, you know, the fatter the brush. But I like to have like, the pressure sensitivity on as well. My stabilization, I usually have it about here. The lower the stabilization, it doesn't correct my lines as much. So like if I want to draw like slow, you'll get, I can get like, this is like the real time. You see my real time hand wiggles because <laughs> I have coffee and my hand is shaking. And if I don't want to have those hand wiggles and I'm like super like wiggly, then I could set the latency and then I could draw slow and you see the hand wiggles are a lot less. If you're a beginner at that and you're like, well, my lines are wiggly and I want them like precise, like how your lines are. I usually have my stabilization, my settings, I usually will have them. Well, actually I'll have them up all the way here and then I just zoom in really close and draw real slow. And then sometimes if I'm like feeling the vibe, I'll draw like faster and whatnot. And if you're like, well, why is my brush so fat? I can change the brush size here. See, it's smaller. And then I can change the brush size here. See, it's bigger. So that's my technique for inking. <laughs> I have my, I usually have my stabilization up or I have it probably about to here and I zoom in real close and then I just, I start inking in like that and I change the brush size there. So your action step is to pick your inking pen, pick your brush size, pick your stabilization settings, zoom into your picture if you want or you can zoom out because some people get overwhelmed if they're too far zoomed in some people get overwhelmed if they're too far zoomed out so figure out what's what meets your fancy and then go ahead and just start inking and see what settings you like that's your action step take a pen pick a brush size pick a stabilization and then start scribbling start scribbling <laughs> very simple See, that wasn't too bad. We are almost done with the whole my whole webtoon process. If you might want to like see like me like doing it 
step by step I am like going to end up creating like different multiple like workshops that why do I keep saying like different multiple workshops that people can end up downloading and they can follow along it's like super convenient I'm I'm trying to work on those for clip seal paint ibis paint and metabong paint and that way yeah it'll be easier and you can just see me guiding you step by step and I'll be using like my comics that I've made so that you don't have to worry about well I don't have a story to do the workshop with along with we'll just do my script my story and we'll just yeah we'll I'll, I'll help you with that that way with the workshop if if you want to see it more like in depth if I'm I don't know how to explain this I don't know what words are I'm tired but hopefully that helped and that's do your action step don't remember to do your, do your action step my office is a mess because I just came back from Des Moines Comic Con Comic Con <laughs> And I haven't cleaned up yet. So, speaking of Des Moines Comic Con, let me show you guys my little daily vlog. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you're having fun and hopefully, hopefully this has been helpful. <laughs> Bye!